So Jeffrey Epstein was finally nabbed on some of his creepy sex crimes. Um, and that's a big deal because he knows where all the bodies are buried, man. He has dirt on, like, everybody. Every international elite you could think of, he's probably got a file this thick on him. So this is kind of a big deal. Now, I think we've spoken about Jeffrey Epstein once or twice before. I haven't talked about him recently, but just to give everybody the Cliff Notes version, this is a dude who is really rich. Now, how he got rich is kind of up in the air. Did he make it in finance? Or is there something else going on that he did for a living? Like, I don't know, being a pimp and taking underage girls and, like, selling access to them to... Um, rich and famous people. Uh, well, there was definitely a little bit of that. And he had gotten caught in the past on, I don't remember what the exact charge was, but basically he went to prison that was more like a vacation where, you know, he was allowed out of his cell to go do work, work in that instance, I think being some finance stuff. And then he would go back in and it was like, you know, when you're really rich, that's the kind of prison you go to. You you get, like, very special treatment. And there was a sweetheart deal that was cut um, involving some prosecutors and some government officials. And just so everybody knows, some of those people are now in Trump's administration. <laughs> so, really sketchy, really weird. Now, when he was arrested recently... Cops apparently found at his mansion, one of his mansions, I should say, he's got multiple, um, you know, I think it was old school VHS tapes, but whatever it was, it was like actual records that has the names of a lot of people that we all know. And the idea is, hey, maybe that is like all the evidence you could possibly imagine in what was actually going down, you know, behind the scenes. And Jeffrey Epstein knew, if I ever get pulled down, if people ever come after me, well, I ain't going down alone. I got a lot of stuff on other people, so maybe these very power, powerful people in very high up places, they'll know that I'm Teflon and you can't come after me or else I blow the lid off this whole, you know, international sex crime pedophile ring. Um, now, Jeffrey Epstein was friends with both Bill Clinton and uh, Donald Trump. And I think he called his plane the Lolita Express. And there was a great tweet I saw the other day, and it's, it said something like, what was it, two of the five living presidents, or maybe even three of the five living presidents, have been on Jeffrey Epstein's pedophile jet? And that's not a very good ratio to me. <laughs> that's so true. That's so true. So, um, having given you all the backstory, look at what just happened last night. NBC New York is reporting that accused child rapist and sex trafficker Jeffrey Epstein was found injured on the floor of his prison cell Wednesday. NBC cited two sources saying that the injuries may have been a suicide attempt. However, a different source told NBC uh, that the injuries were so minor it could have been an attempt to be sent to a better jail or a fancier prison cell. Assault also hasn't been ruled out. There is data that supports claims men accused of convicted sex crimes with children are the targets target of violence behind bars. A fourth source said that a former police officer serving time for murder and drugs was questioned about the incident. Well, that's weird. Now, there are also other rumors floating around that this police officer... Uh, this former police officer, again, who was arrested for and serving time for murder and drugs, that he was found with a cell phone. So, a dude behind bars was found with a cell phone, and then he maybe takes action against Jeffrey Epstein. And could be an attempt to kill him. Could be just, uh, you know, beating him up. 
it could be a suicide attempt. I mean, listen, if you need me to connect the dots a little further and, and to tell you what some possibilities are here, I just told you, this dude knows where all the bodies are buried. And that's not a question, that's not up in the air, that's not speculation. We know that this dude knows very, very powerful people who came to him for sex crimes. And he would get young girls and he would basically be their pimp. A child sex trafficker is what we're talking about here. So he's got dirt on the most powerful people in the world, and then it just so happens that when he's behind bars, not even for that long, there might be an attempt on his life. Isn't it wild that it is a legit possibility <laughs> that either Bill Clinton... Or Donald Trump is behind this attempt on Jeffrey Epstein's life. Now, I don't want to sound too conspiratorial. I don't want to sound too Alex Jonesy. I'm just giving you possibilities. It is possible that he tried to take his own life. It is possible that, I don't know, there was some sort of uh, dispute behind bars with this guy. And so the guy just fucked him up. That's possible. But it's also very, very possible that... They're trying to off him because they're trying to keep the lid on all the dirt that this guy knows. Because Jeffrey Epstein is a terrible dude. But he's got a wealth of knowledge. Knowledge that all of us, I'm sure, would be stunned by. Maybe he knows, you know, some shit that from the royal family in the UK. I'm, I think he's hung out with some of them before. Very powerful and famous people. You know, uh, Alan Dershowitz apparently uh, knows Jeffrey Epstein and there's been accusations against Alan Dershowitz. And he's, you know, pretending like, what do you mean? I don't even know what you mean. Jeffrey Epstein? Jeffrey who? Who? I don't even know who that is. Um, I think Charlie Rose was another one, but definitely Donald Trump, definitely Bill Clinton. Now, they swear up and down like, Pfft. Bro, I am shocked by this news about Jeffrey Epstein. And to tell you the truth, I didn't even like him that much, and I didn't even know him that well, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, whatever, bro. Jeffrey who? I don't even know who that is, dog. Like, that's been their response. But, again, dude's got a vault with evidence that's a mountain high. And it just so happens that he almost gets off in prison. This story ain't over. This story ain't over, man. And let me just say this. If you immediately accept the idea of like, oh, no, he's just, you know, now he's just really miserable and he's just trying to kill himself. I mean, it's a possibility, but let's not act like we really know that. And let's not act like there aren't other possibilities, some of which include some of the very powerful and famous people trying to get this guy killed. So that he doesn't out them. Reality is stranger than fiction.